Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this week's episode of Merrick's Garage. There was some really big news in the automotive industry this last week, and it was the return of the Ford Bronco. Why is that such big news to a Chevy guy like me? Well, I've always had a respect and a love for the Broncos, and I grew up with them as much as I grew up with a Blazer. I happened to buy a Blazer because, you know, I mean, they're better. But I've always loved the Bronco, and it's really cool to see Ford bring it back in this form that we're going to see here in a minute. So I'm going to roll a video of a bunch of the, the releases and, and some footage from Ford as to, you know, showing the capabilities and just talk through some of my thoughts, impressions. I, uh, I welcome your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this thing what you do to it, what you would like to see differently, or just lament with me that, you know, Ford completely beat Chevy in the rebirth of a legend. Let's take a look. So here come the galloping horses, very, very clever Ford. You've got that wild image down, and we can see that's a cool Gen 1 Bronco. They always, even out on the trail now, they still look good. And is that a new international? I think that's a new scout. Is that a new scout? Oh, no. Wait, I can't get a good angle on it, but that looks a whole lot like a scout, which isn't a bad thing. The scouts are fantastic trucks. So looking at this thing, it looks the business right off the bat. Um, I'm amazed they did three platforms. There, There is three options. That, that's, that in itself is huge. It shows you the investment that Ford is making in this industry, in this segment. Uh, but here's the one that I'm going to be interested in, uh, the off-road version with the 35-inch tires and all that. Um, it looks incredibly capable. I'm seeing a little Defender 90 in the four-door. I'm seeing a little Scout in the two-door, and even Defender 45, which well, that's not bad. Those are all beautiful trucks. Uh, but looking at this thing, it, 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 I like the squareness. I like the removable top, the removable doors. I like the size of tire offering. I like the fact that Ford has moved into this space as aggressively as they have. This is how you utilize your name, Bronco. Man, they... They're going to build an empire off the, another empire off of this. If there's any GM executives watching, this is how you launch an iconic brand name. This is how you resurrect something that means a lot to everyone. You don't do it by slapping it on another people carrier with 48 cup holders and batteries everywhere. You do it by giving the people what they want, which is a kick butt looking truck like this. So let's take a look at what we see. Um, now, I don't know what the production model is gonna look like, but let's just take a look. Swing out tailgate, see-through doors, removable doors, accessory bars, square looks, fender flares, hitch points, toe points, space for what looks like a winch mount, methods, 35 inch tires, nice headlights. The, the grill is a really nice touch. That's a nice throwback. Uh, integrated roll cage. Yeah, I mean, I, I see the similarities. I don't see the similarities there. They've they've downsized it. This is a Gen 1 replica, uh, if you ask me. But regardless, um, it looks very, very well kitted out. Um, the angle of the windshield looks good. The belt line is nice and high. The proportions are good. The wheels are proportional to the, to the body. <laughs> from, from, from a... From an artistic perspective, I, I look at this and it just, it looks right. So great job Ford on that front. Um, here they are testing it out in Johnson Valley. This is really cool to see. Well, getting a little excited there in some of the whoops, but man, they are not backing off on it. They're really giving it the leather. Now, do I, I think that this is going to be a competitor to the, to the, the Wrangler and the Rubicon? Absolutely. Um, do I think that Jeep is too worried? No, because I think this is going to be an expansion of the market. I think you're going to have your Jeep guys, you're going to have your Ford guys that are obviously going to be your diehards, but I think this hits a different segment. I, 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 do, I do see the similarities, but the IFS versus solid axle debate, we don't need to go into that right now, just to say that this is obviously a capable suspension and powertrain and everything. 
And that does bring me to a, to a cool point. I think what's going to be happening is we're going to see more of this stuff. Uh, Ultra 4, King of the Hammers, that whole series and, and development has really fueled the aftermarket. And now we're seeing that technology, whether it's suspension or, or lockers or transmissions, we're seeing that technology bleeding over into the OEM world. And that can be nothing but good stuff. I mean, we're already seeing it in, in some of the of the tire technology and the suspension technology, but I think that's just a sign of more things to come. So suffice it to say, I really think Ford did a great job with this. I mean, it looks good. It's got a decent engine from what I understand. That's yet, I haven't really delved into that. This was more about just the looks. And based on that alone, good job Ford. Hopefully uh, Chevy's paying attention and recognizes that they need to step up their game. The interior, let's take a look at the interior. I mean, once again, utilitarian, uh, a six speed, thank you. Uh, I'm not a big fan of automatic transfer cases and I, don't, I wouldn't always trust the dial, select a, a range for your for your transfer case and all that but um it does seem to be fairly well appointed um nothing looks like it's particularly going to trap dirt or be horrible to clean which is nice to see I, I think i saw some drain holes in the floor which is a huge plus uh grab handles of course and nice soft touch oh you can get wood trim now oh, that does look pretty nice and look an accessory bar I mean, that, that's, they've been paying attention. They've been watching the market and they have been paying attention. So ultimately, I think that's the message that, that I'm leaving. I, I see this as being um, foreshadowing of, of where I think the industry is going to start paying more attention um, to the more niche areas. This isn't a minivan. It's not a pickup truck. This is a pretty specialized vehicle, especially when you're buying the two door. Um, it's a bold move of, of Ford's. They could have chosen to go a different direction like Chevy did, but they didn't. And for that, I thank them and uh, look forward to seeing what answer Chevy might potentially have. Anyway, I've got my blazer. Hopefully you guys have your square body all ready because they are awesome trucks and we need more of them getting built and saved. But anyway, this was about the Bronco. This was a, a departure from my normal videos. I've never done a reaction video before. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments down below and uh, make sure to take a look at one of these videos. This is gonna be one of my uh, Dana 60 rebuild videos from when I did my four link. I figured I, I'd show you guys a Dana 60 hardcore tech video after we do one of these walkthroughs. Anyway, thanks for watching. Merrick's Garage, peace.